Outdoor Basics and today we're going to cover the basics of setting up a basher. We're going to use an MTP British military tarp, some pegs with paracord and some pegs that I knocked up myself. On the tarp I've got some uh, paracord attached because I prefer to use paracord over bungees but I'll cover that later. Okay guys, let's get started. This isn't necessarily an area that I would choose to set up my basher, it's just for demonstration purposes. I just keep the tarp itself in a, a basic stuff sack because it's in a pouch within, within my bergen anyway, but that just keeps any sort of nonsense that gets, gets on the tarp through use separate for the rest of my kit. I don't have a specific way of folding the tarp up or anything like that when I put it back again. That's what it says in the tin, it just goes straight in the stuff sack. It's all good and well packing your kit neat and tidy when you're in your house and it's all perfect. But when you get out into the field and it gets wet, it gets dirty, it gets muddy, it becomes much harder, you know, to kind of pack it down. So if you pack it the way you're going to use it in the field, it just makes life much easier. Okay, so here we go. Get it straight out the stuff sack. Put the stuff sack straight in my pocket so I know where it is. I've got my pegs. As I stated earlier, um, I prefer to use paracord because, you know, I, I don't like the thought of bungees turning off and taking a hook in the eye off one of the bungees or, and, and we are really learning the use of a, a few simple knots, I can just get it straight up. Okay, so I'll put it here. So I'll take it, pull it round itself, back round the tree, back up, get my loop, pull it in nice and taut, give myself a decent amount of string and that's solid. Nice taut tarp there, um, I'll just demonstrate that one more time, it can come down really quickly. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that's it, I'm off. Round the tree, pull it fairly taut, over the top, again pull it tight, back round, then either over the top or under the bottom, take my loop, give myself plenty on either side, there we go, done. With these, the, the British military tarp, what I want to do is ensure that the rubber sealed part, kind of waxy rubber, you want to make sure that's the part that's uppermost towards the weather. You'll just see this extra part here if, should you need it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just, you'll notice that all the way around on the loops, I've got paracord attached. As I said, there can be many configurations when setting up your basher, but this is the, the method I prefer. Pull it out. again stone there so I'll just readjust there we go excellent then on the other side I'll just use the, the three wooden sticks they were just knocking around I just banged a, a bit of an edge on them and in this ground they should push in no problem so nice tight tarp range just gonna run off that absolutely no problem my ridge line's nice and taut, plenty of space under here to, you know, get myself plus, you know, a, another person, roll mat, sleeping bags, bergens, and conduct any sort of admin that we need to under here, nice and comfortable, eh, bone dry, I like this, this method when it's, when it's close to the ground, it's cutting the wind out a bit as well, and we could use our bergens to block this end off, then we've got our entry exit, much warmer, drier tarp. One thing that I maybe didn't mention at the start was before I set my tarp up, I'd obviously check the check the surrounding area. I'd make sure there was nothing on the floor that was you know going to stick into me, uh, puncture my bivy bag, puncture any of my kit, puncture me. Make sure it's all clean and tidy. And then again, I would just look up, making sure that you know there's no widow makers leaning in anything that's going to possibly fall down on us if the wind picks up. Um, and to take it all down, it's the exact same in reverse. 
take the pegs out, store them to the side, untie one end of the paracord, roll it away, untie the other end, roll it away, straight back in the stuff sack. What I will demonstrate now is a, a, a nice simple method of, of, of recoiling my string back up. Okay guys, so I'll just take these pegs out first as I said. Put these over here. And then I'm just going to work back in reverse. A top tip is obviously I don't want to keep this stuff sack in my pocket. Uh, a nice simple top tip, you know, to always know what it is, is once my, my tap's set up, I've got the toggle on the end. I can just take a quick release knot on that and just have it there, I know where it is, that's an option, or store it in the Bergen where it would go anyway. So what I'll show you again, why this is so effective, this is quite long this string, um, I'll just, I'll just pull it, off it comes, straight down, absolutely no problem. Um, so a good way of rolling it up, I just take my, my my, my thumb in the loop and I'm just going to coil it round a few turns there nice and tight again another wee pull quick knot just there just take it with me you see how quickly there that just comes straight off one more time, thumb back in the loop Grab it here, wrap it round, nice and tight. Then I'm just going to feel down the rubberized ridge line, like I said. If I get it to the peak. Pegs and I'm good to go. As you can see, a couple of minutes up, couple of minutes down. Um, nice simple A-frame. Uh, again, outdoor basics. Thanks for watching. I've been Stuart. You've been great. Cheers. And you did it!